Welcome back to Daytime, everyone. Right now, many in the U.S. are worried about the two R's. Is a recession looming, and how is this all affecting the real estate market? Whether we're headed for a recession or not, or maybe we're currently in one, while well, many are talking about the obvious real estate slowdown. Joining us now to talk more about the effects of the real estate right now, the effects of the slowdown is Rick Harper from Harper Realty. Hi, Rick. Hey, nice to be here. Thanks. Let's talk about this. All we keep hearing about is, oh, it's tanking, it's tanking. In your opinion, is it still, is everything still on its way down? Well, everything may not be the exact right answer, but yeah, the market as a whole is going down. But, uh, you know, I try and look at each individual property specifically. When that property hits rock bottom, when that seller has determined, uh, you know, it's time for him to sell it, whatever he can get for it then that specific property might be the one to buy. They're not all going to hit bottom at the same time. A lot of deals have already hit bottom. A lot of, lot of buyers, a lot of investors have seen, hey, I don't think that particular property is going to go down any further. I'm going to go ahead and snatch it up. A lot of people are sitting on the sidelines thinking that they're all going to hit bottom at the exact same time. It's like if you threw a handful of marbles in the air. Some will hit first and some right. will hit last and some will get caught in the trees. You and just have to know when to yeah. grab it. So basically you're saying it's relative to the sector of the market that you're in. Uh, true, but I'm also saying each specific property. Sure. I mean, you know, if she's holding out for a high price and you're willing to cut your price by X amount that's going to make the person happy, then your property has hit bottom before hers, even though they may be right next door to but each other. But overall, that has an effect on the overall real estate market because if, if she's going to, if someone's going to sell cheaper, people are still thinking things are going down and they're not, you know, the property values aren't going to yeah. start going yeah, up. Yeah, as a whole, they are continuing to go down and they will continue to go down. There is, there, there's no, in my opinion, work in the market, there's no evidence of a, of a market hole turnaround. But what about some soon. of those reports that are coming out saying, hey, listen, the market, it, they're starting to see slight increases, slight increases in, in, in is it different sectors again there or is it just? Well, I guess if you looked at any chart, they're not straight. Sure. You know, they're going to be bouncing and they're still bouncing down is what it's what's continuing to happen right now. What about investors? And then a lot of people say that that's the reason why everything is tanking now, because so many people were speculating and thought they'd make a whole lot of money and flip houses right. and rent them out and so on and so forth. And everybody was getting loans and they shouldn't have. Is this if you've got the money? and you're pre-qualified, is now a good time to get your investment property? I've been at this 25 years, and this, this is the best real estate market I've ever seen if you're a buyer. If you're a buyer, If you're a buyer. I mean, people listen to the news reports, and the news reports are specifically talking about sellers. Right. They are not talking about buyers. And, and, and every time you hear one of these negative reports, I want you to think about who are you? What position do you play in the real estate investment world? Are you an investor or are you a seller? And if you're an investor today buying and for a lot of the properties we're selling are half what they were selling for a year and a half ago, 50 cents on the dollar. So are you telling buyers though? I mean, uh Again, it's a buyer's market. Are you saying, hey, throw out some lowballs out there? Absolutely. Just toss oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're seeing a lot of people off with our <laughs> offers, quite frankly. I mean, when you say lowballs, we're writing some lowball offers, and we're having to write a lot of offers to get some accepted. But that's what it takes. Are they getting accepted? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're selling property. Absolutely. We've got investors that are coming into this game, and they're extremely happy with the deals they're getting. When you talk about lowball, though, I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, when you talk about lowball, though, how much lower are you talking? Like, what percent Man, are I, you cutting I, I down? I shouldn't tell you, but I looked at a property the other day. It was on the water. They were asking $1.2 million. I offered 300000 for it. So that's a lowball offer. It did not get did accepted. They laugh? Yeah, no, no, they they were a lot worse than laughing. They, <laughs> they were they had angry. some yeah they had some nasty words to say to me. But if you do that enough times, you're going to get some yeses. Uh, I looked at the and I and I'm a waterfront guy. I like waterfront property. I looked at the waterfront sales, and typically speaking, the waterfront sales in the market that I was looking at. They were all at least a hundred thousand dollars below asking price, and you have to imagine a lot of these were on the market for three hundred, four hundred, five hundred days, and the current asking price might have been a hundred thousand less than the original asking price. So they're lowering them, they're lowering them, and then a low ball offer comes in even lower. So it's where the market's heading, and if and if you want to get in the game, now now's the time to get into the game. All right, right. yeah, real quick, one piece of advice for sellers: Should we hang on, real quick? Yeah, now is not a seller's market; it is a buyer's market, so do and what by you all can. means, yeah, hold on to those. 
properties by all means. And I'll give one other tip for the buyers out there. Don't get into anything you can't afford. Make sure that whatever you purchase, whether it be a home or investment property, it is 100% affordable with a fixed rate loan. We would not have foreclosures if people bought properties that they, could, they afford. could afford. Yeah. Gotcha. Rick Harper, great advice from Harper Realty. Thank you very, hey, very thank much. You. Thanks again. Hey, stay with Daytime. We'll be right back.